5 seconds speaking during the platinum jubilee celebrations of the modern school the president said it gives me great pleasure to be with you i extend my greetings and good wishes to the teachers students parents and the management the personality of this school is shaped by the philosophy of public schools though imparting knowledge is important you have always considered the building of character of the students as an important goal in your school this is also reflected in the academic excellence of students i congratulate you on this aspect the next thing i would like to bring to your attention is that your school has been successful in providing moral and ethical basis to the all round education provided here i would like to impress upon you that it is in the formative years that values of democracy and secularism have to be inculcated in the minds of the students i commend your performance in this regard and i have great pleasure in congratulating your correspondent and the teachers apart from academic education and values i notice that your school has also excelled in sports and games it gives me great pleasure to see that a large number of students are participating in sports artistic and cultural activities i have no doubt that participation in extra curricular activities will develop in the students healthy competition fair play and goodwill i wish to point out that the government would provide 5 crores of rupees as reward to those who are set new records the next point i wish to stress is that we must not lose sight of the sufferings undergone by our freedom fighters they have fought as one force forgetting differences of caste religion and social status i therefore request you to bear in mind that if india is to become a modern society we must forget all our minor differences and maintain a spirit of unity and brotherhood this will definitely help the next generation to be very successful on this occasion i would like to point out that human resources if properly developed can be the greatest asset of our country as a matter of fact is increases productivity and innovation you are all well aware of the fact that education is the best means of improving the resources we have and also shaping the direction of progress i therefore request you all to play your part in removing illiteracy from our country each one of you should take a pledge to educate about 10 poor children so that india may become a powerful nation the next issue i would like to touch upon is the relationship between the teachers and students as a person associated with education i am well aware of the true relation that exists between them the relationship between the teacher and the students has now grown into a bond between the school and the students that is why i am able to see here a large number of old students of this school who are now occupying high status in all walks of life government will create a fund for each school to which old students can contribute i think it is proper for me to point out on this occasion that our cultural heritage is an important element in developing self esteem it is a well known fact that many of our achievements in early centuries has been forgotten due to foreign rule therefore i would take this opportunity to request this school and the students to take all efforts to revive the richness and beauty of all our arts including dance and music at the same time steps should be taken to invite students from different parts of the country to know each other's culture and tradition in this connection i must say that the students of today should develop respect for our national monuments and historical structures and try to protect them in the years to come periodical campus should be held to clean up such monuments using students so that foreign tourists may know our history before concluding i would like to stress that though knowledge of english is important we should try to provide education through the mother tongue as such as much as possible so that the young minds may be able to grasp the matter in a better manner 
with these few words i thank each and every one of you for the fine opportunity provided to me to be amongst the students and address them on this happy occasion.